Hey, what's up? My name's Eric McGregor, product specialist with Newmark Industries, and I'm here to show you some tips and tricks on how to perform using the Total Computer DJ in a Box. On the left-hand side of the screen, in the lower left corner, you're going to see the browser tree. This allows you to browse through any music that's either on your computer or in your documents, maybe an iTunes folder, or a thumb drive or external hard drive that might be connected to the computer. Using the big scroll knob in the center of the tractor control, you can scroll up and down through the directory until you find the tracks or folders that you want. With that directory selected, press the directory button again beneath the big scroll knob and this will now allow you to browse up and down inside of the tracks. Once I have a track selected that I want to play, I can load it to either deck A or deck B by pressing the load track button on either the left or the right hand side of the big scroll knob. So I'm going to load this track to deck A by pressing the load track button. Now this song is immediately brought up on screen. I can set a cue point and now play it out. Now I can use the big scroll knob to go down to another track and I'm going to load this track to deck B by hitting the load track button to the right of the big scroll knob. And again, it comes up immediately on screen. What we can see is that at the top left hand, you'll see a BPM readout or a tempo readout. It's beats per minute of 91.94. However, the track on deck B is 99.90, which means this song is gonna be speeded faster than the other track or it's gonna be moving at a faster tempo. So what I can do is using the sync button on the right hand side of the total control, I can press this and now my BPMs are matched immediately at 91.94. I can bring down or bring over my crossfader to deck A, start playing deck B, I'll press sync one more time and now if I bring my crossfader over, You can hear both tracks playing exactly on the same tempo, exactly at the same speed. There's deck B. There's deck A. And then here's both tracks playing together. You've now just created a mix, or what's also commonly called beat matching. This allows you to bring two tracks in at the same exact speed and tempo playing together and allows you to build a more excited audience or crowd as you're DJing. Congratulations, you just successfully beat match two songs together. Now, we're going to set a loop on deck A and let that loop out over and over while a track on deck B continues to play full length on top of it. First off, on deck A, we're going to hit play. And then to set our loop, you hit loop in to start and then loop out to stop that loop in. So here we go. In, out. On the bottom of the track on screen, you can see two small green triangles that indicate where your loop points are. That track is now playing. So on deck B, we're going to crossfade over to deck A. So right now, all we hear is that. We can hit play on deck B. I've already hit sync to make sure that our BPMs are matched up at 95.78 and now I can cross fade in and you have two tracks. Deck B is playing full length but deck A has a loop playing. You can use anything like a beat, a vocal, a guitar riff, whatever you want in order to add it underneath the other track to build it up and when you're done press loop out and now deck A is playing out full speed again. Looping is now part of your DJ arsenal. Now I can start adding some effects to each deck to create more sonic presence and change it up a little bit. Tractor has built-in effects that you can select right on Total Control. First, press the select button, and if you notice above deck A, I have a flanger, then a reverb, no effect, and then a delay. Right now I'm going to select the flanger and using the two parameter knobs 
I can adjust the amount of this effect. To turn it on, I hit the on button, make a couple of tweaks, and then off. There's an identical set of these controls on each deck, so you can set up different effects on deck A, another effect on deck B. And again, to turn it off, on, off. Very good. Effects are an important part of DJing. You're doing good. Finally, we'll drop a filter on the track to switch it up even more. A filter is a kind of effect that cuts out either the low end or the high end in your audio. Press the filter on off button and then adjust the parameter knob. You can drop out the high end or drop out the low end and then to turn it off simply hit the filter on off button. Now you can drop filters anywhere you want.